lost two children to radiation-related cancers, and in 2001, her Hogan was removed as radioactive waste by the EPA. But the data on the radioactivity of her home and yard was withheld from her by the agency. The public today has been prepared for a nuclear renaissance based on the credibility of a truncated nuclear industry safety record, and due to climate change, nuclear power is packaged as a lesser of two evils, just as continued nuclear testing was a lesser of two evils during the fallout controversy. Perhaps the new red scare will be a green one against environmentalists, or maybe the red scare was green all along. She wants you to be aware that the, uh, the tragedy will continue for many years to come, and she appreciates being here. Our water is severely affected. We have a lot of contaminants. It's been introduced into the San Juan River. The San Juan River shows up over here in these canals here. So you guys are affected too. Well, six months ago, I joined the ranks of people who have been affected. I just got off chemotherapy. And I have a form of laryngeal cancer. My long work in, in this field has affected me too. Think of a, a, a non-conversant Navajo out there on the other side of the world, out there in the midst of downtown New York, out there in Washington, D.C. She traveled down here by herself. Can you do it on the reservation? No. I've seen people get lost out there. <laughs> so kudos to her. If our elders can do it as advocates, certainly we can defeat this insidious monster here. Now imagine um, the amount of uh, radioactivity that it's, this thing is emanating. And it has a half-life of 4.5 billion years. Half of it is going to disintegrate in 4.5 billion years. And then another half of that, in, you know, the longevity is forever. So I'll come back in about 4.5 billion years and see if it's going to disintegrate in half of it. But you don't know the energy level on this unless you have this type of instrument. We have uh, actually quite a bit of time. We're going to take questions. I mean, whom do I harass? <laughs> um, where do I protest? Okay. What would I do? We have asked for a study, one of the, uh, the last five-year plan strategies that we have. But we all know how, how much those studies cost. So contact your state representative, certainly John McCain. There's a, a huge injustice there. And so I think my generation is the first one to really say, hey, this is not right. You need to correct this. You need to answer. You need to you know, come back and uh, make restitution. Hearing from people directly who are affected makes a difference for environmental history. Having this kind of a setting, this kind of discussion today shows us how history is important, not just for what happened 30, 50, or 100 years ago, but there's a legacy 